Hey there everybody, let's talk about the Find It mod. This is a great one here in the workshop and you will find it on your thing with the magnifying lens here. It's Find It 2.9. It's called Find It 2 in the downloads. If we go over here and look in the options, here it is, Find It 2.9. That's the one you want. You can set all kinds of options here. I don't really mess with them. I just leave them as their default and move on to the actual mod itself. On the left hand side, we have eight little icons that allow us a quick selection. They're the same things that we have in this drop down area, plus one more that allows us to access growable and rico resources at the same time. Here's the difference. Network means roads. Ploppable means things that don't grow, such as unique buildings, parks, service buildings. Growable means it's residential, industrial, commercial, or office as per the standard game. Rico, well, that's residential, industrial, commercial, office that goes with unique buildings. There's a mod that allows them to have jobs or residents and function as actual buildings. Growable slash Rico allows you to select both props, there's props, decals or decals, trees or trees. What more could you ask for? Well, the what more you could ask for would be found in being able to sort everything. For example, I don't want to get just growables. I've got this office area. I need one more office building. I could select offices. I could select that they're either custom or vanilla. I'll turn off vanilla. I want only custom ones. I can see in the corner here how many of that particular asset has been used. I want an unused one. So here I have, and I could place it here. Click, it's in. If I turn on anarchy, I could do all kinds of other things with them but for right now I'll just place it by the road normally and there it is I can hit this button here to refresh and now I have one of those great that's a wonderful thing the other benefits I have with this it also allows me to select things with tags for example I have several tags available here if I click on this I'm able to see all the custom tags I have defined and how many of my assets match that tag they're ordered by how many assets are actually in that particular tag Bauhaus is my most popular one let's go ahead and type in that typing in that tag and selecting everything allows me to see every single asset I have that's tagged with Bauhaus. There we go. It's got that custom tag. I could add multiple tags to different assets. I could remove tags from assets. Anything I want to do that makes them easier to sort. Custom tags are my own making and don't have any connection to those fields that carry over from the Steam Workshop. If I highlight a particular asset and then click on the location icon, it will take me to every place the asset is located. If I hover over the asset and match it with the one that I have selected, I can see exactly where it is. This can help in determining where I have assets that I might want to remove due to some problem. It can also help me to locate areas where the AI has placed too many of a particular asset. For example, here I see one, two, three, four, five of the same building, and then several more of another kind. I might want to demolish them and replace them with other buildings. And that's the key feature of the Find It mod. Not only does it allow me to select buildings that are appearing too often, it allows me to place buildings that aren't appearing often enough. For example, over here, I have neighborhoods that I want to have a specific look for, and that requires repeated asset placement. And that's made possible with the Find It mod. I can also place assets without even having to zone. If you notice here, I haven't zoned these areas, but they are functioning just perfectly. And that's thanks to the Find It mod. We can also add other filters by clicking this plus icon, and we see I could select any one of the asset creators who are identified with any of these assets. Let's select Larry Skyline. Lines. I see that he's got all these other assets, including parks, trucks, and props. And I could use this to find where they're located on the map were I so inclined. There it is. What are the other filters? I can choose by building height, level, district style, requiring a particular DLC, subbuildings, used assets, unused assets, local custom assets, workshop custom assets, with a custom tag, without a custom tag, terrain conforming, non-terrain conforming, creator hidden, and that's quite a lot of possible terms. We can also access some other settings with a quick menu here, and these guide sorting options options as well as appearance options. Well, that should be enough to get you started on the Find It mod. I hope you found this enjoyable and that you like, comment, and subscribe. For Cities Timelines, I'm Dean Webb.